Here's Dr. James Dobson with Family Talk. If you want to put some new life in your marriage, you might try thinking like a teenager again. We all remember, fondly or otherwise, the craziness of our dating days. You know, the coy attitudes and the flirting and the chasing after the prize. But as we moved into marriage, most of us felt that we really ought to leave that game playing behind. But we may not have changed as much as we'd like to think. The truth is, our romantic relationships will always bear some characteristics of adolescent sexuality. Grown-ups still love the thrill of the chase and the lure of the unattainable, the excitement with the new and the boredom with the old. Now, in a committed relationship where the partners are determined to go the distance, immature impulses are controlled and minimized, but they never entirely disappear. And this is the key for keeping life in our marriages. If things seem stale between you and your spouse, maybe you should remember some very old tricks, repeating some of the happy moments that brought you together in the first place. Maybe it's time for a little mystery in your relationship, a little flirtatiousness, a date where you revisit the old haunts when your love was new. How about a phone call in the middle of the day or an unexpected weekend trip? If it all sounds a little immature to act like a teenager again, just keep this in mind. In the very best marriages, the chase is never really over. Dr. James Dobson with Family Talk.